After Berlin's world record in the women's event drew a lot of attention to the Adidas Pro Evo 1, it was Nike's turn to be back in the spotlight at Chicago, with the still unnamed prototype, which many are speculating to be the Alpha 5 III, being what Kelvin Kipton wore to smash the men's world record. In a race for the best technology, much like the space race, the popularity of the best super shoes is dictated by wins such as these. And in fact, the Evo 1, which was only made in a run of 521 pairs, is now selling for over £800 on resellers' websites as people scramble to get their hands on a pair. The world's lightest super shoe caused controversy online after it was recommended that it only be worn for one marathon. But is that the ultimate evolution of the best technology to become lighter and lighter and therefore less and less sustainable and durable? What do you think? So perhaps that's one of the most important questions. We're talking about the shoes as if they're the ones doing all of the work here, but ultimately it comes down to these incredible athletes as well. So which shoe would you choose to help you to run your PB on race day. If you've tried any of the different carbon plated shoes, what did you think and what was your choice? Let us know in the comments.